All right, you guys, welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial here on my channel. And in today's video, we're going to be building this lovely mid-century-esque home behind me, which, of course, was actually made out of an inspiration photo from uh, real life. I'll go ahead and throw that up now. It was supposed to be twice as big, technically, like this whole section here with the warped wood. It was supposed to have the entryway and then this section and then another section next to it. But it's Minecraft and I decided to keep it simpler, so I basically cut the build in half. Obviously, if you do like it that you want to build it, then just you could literally take this blue section here and put it on this side of the entryway and have this entryway in the middle. Or you could connect it up by putting another little walkway over here as well. It's up to you. Although honestly, putting this giant blue warped section on the left side of this entryway here would be kind of cool. Just having it centered like that, honestly. And if you like my tutorials, make sure you leave a like down below and comment anything you'd like to see me build in the future. Now without further ado, let's get some materialists. All right, the material list for this is as such. It's not very good for a starter house, I will say that. So please don't try to make this in your very first starter house because unless you're in creative, this will be a pain in survival. You need 440 mud brick stairs, 321 mushroom stems, 236 stripped warp stems, 229 polished deep slate slabs, 114 polished deep slate walls, 108 mud brick slabs, 108 smooth quartz stairs, 106 dripstone blocks, 95 white stained glass panes, 56 black stone slabs, 51 polished deep slate stairs. The grass you can ignore because it was part of the design when I built it in a different world, but if you want to add grass, there you go. 30 black stone walls, 24 blocks of coal, 9 tall grass, again you can ignore unless you want to decorate it up, 8 black stone stairs, 7 pearlescent frog lights, Flowers, again, if you want to decorate the outside, go for it. Three white stained glass blocks. The dead bushes here and terracotta, again, were used for decor, so it's up to you if you want to include. And one individual chain for your front door. Start off, we're going to start by making our entryway. And to do that, we want to put three dripstone blocks like this on the front side where your door is going to be because your door is going to be over here. Turning it to the side, we're going to take it over another four for a total of five blocks on the side, like so. And then turning it again, we're going to bring it over another eight, so we have a total of nine blocks on the back. Until you have like this J shape like this. Now you're going to want to bring the walls up all the way by six blocks total until your J shape is this big. Now to work on the door, right next to the strip stone, we're going to go ahead and put this polished deep slate wall up six blocks as well. And right behind it, go ahead and frame it with block of coal up six blocks. Then you're going to take this out another five for a total of six blocks up here. So two, three, four, five, six, like so. And this is the beginning of our frame here. Then on this corner here, you're going to bring it all the way down to the floor. And you're going to also bring another row down, but you're going to leave this block here because I went ahead and put in some glass for a window like this with a block of coal at the bottom then we went ahead and framed out the window with another column of coal like so leaving a space for our door which had two white stained glass panes up here a full column here so another three and then two that stick out with a chain in between for the door handle and you should have something that looks like this moving on from there we're going to go ahead and again frame this out with six more polished deep slate tile walls or just polished deep slate not tile sorry and then we're going to go ahead and start doing our next section which is going to be at a mushroom stem right behind this wall here you're going to put two columns worth up six blocks tall of the mushroom stem so you have something like that then you're gonna bring this out another six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. So a total of eight blocks if you count this back corner, this direction. Then this column is gonna go up to eight blocks tall because it's the beginning of our roof until you have something like that. Then we're gonna go ahead and put a window in here. And for this window, basically, the corners in the middle portion are gonna have a full block of polished deep slate slabs. Then in the sides, the sides, in the middles in between, they're gonna have the stairs with three walls coming up from each of the full blocks. One, two, three, like so. And then again, full blocks on top of the walls. 
and upside down stairs in between. Then you should have a three block gap where the walls are for your glass panes to be put in. And then you have your window. Then you're also going to go ahead and take the mushroom stem over by one more row, but it does not need to cover this area here because we're going to have a block in front of it to block that off. And you officially have the first part of your house done. Now switching sides over to here on the eight block tall column of mushroom stem, we're going to bring it out another two and also bring it all the way up. Only the house roof on this is going to be a typical A-line type of house. So you're going to go ahead and bring it up by one block extra for each column. So eight, nine, and ten total. For the next portion of this wall, we're going to come back by one block and do a row of 18 mushroom stems. 18. And then again, bring it forward by one block. And we're going to do another row of three. And it's going to be the exact same in height as that one over there where you have a column of eight on the far edge, nine, and then ten, which I want to do now. Now we're going to go ahead and put in a window here. It's going to be nine blocks wide. And I did go ahead and just do full blocks for the bottom. However, you could easily turn it out and put the stairs in the bottom. I just figured since they were higher up, they didn't really need it. And I wanted it to look a little different compared to the main window over there. Then again, we're going to take our walls here and go up three blocks on every other block, framing out the windows. Again, full blocks on top and upside down stairs in between. And then you can put your stained glass in the middle. And for this wall back here where you can see through the wall on this corner, I just filled in that portion with some extra mushroom stems, but you could really fill it in with whatever you'd like. And you should have something that looks like this. Now coming in from the right side, we're going to go ahead and do another row of mushroom stems all the way over until we hit the bottom of these windows. Then we're going to go ahead and put in another set of windows that's seven blocks wide. And again, this time I did the full blocks, but of course you can trade it out for stairs. Until you have something like that. Again, go up three blocks, I mean this time two blocks of walls. Full block on top and an upside down stair. And fill in with glass and block behind the walls with a different block. And this middle portion here, you can bring all the way up to the top of the windows. Like that. The next portion of this, we're going to come up here with the stripped warp stem out by one block and just fill it in, connecting the two columns of this mushroom stem. Do three rows. So basically three rows of warp stem connecting it. And that's going to be 18 blocks in between because that's how wide this is. And say something like that. Then we're going to go ahead and put a window in. In the center of this window, since this is an even wall, which I did not mean to do on purpose, it just happened. Since it's an even wall, the center is these two blocks. So we're going to go ahead and put two blocks there so that we know the center. And it's going to be eight blocks wide in total. So add three more to either side of the middle. Then we're going to go ahead and do, since it's two blocks in the middle, it's going to be a two block wide window. Three walls separating the columns here. Sorry, the two middle pieces here. Three wall tall and three more on the corners with again, full blocks on top and upside down stairs. Say something like that. From here, you're gonna go ahead and fill in the last row here that connects to the mushroom stem and to the windows. Now, since I said we're doing a simple A-line, each block here is gonna go up one block from the corner. So we're gonna want one block higher there, block higher there, and so on and so forth. So let's just keep it going. I'll do this one on camera and then I'll do the other side off camera like so until we're at the middle here and again since the middle is two blocks we're gonna have two blocks up here at the top that is the middle like that and then you're just gonna fill in the rest with the stripped warped wood until you have something like that before we move on to the side we do need to put in some gutters here using our black stone walls they're gonna go up seven blocks tall here and then again on the other side as well now turning this corner, we're gonna wanna bring out 16 more mushroom stems for a total of a 17 width wall here. The windows on this side, we're gonna keep it very simple. Very simple in that the first block over from each corner, we're gonna have the full block and then a stair and a full block. Two blocks are gonna be of wall. Then again, we're gonna have our main middle window here, which is two panes worth. So full block, stair, full block, stair, full block. Skip another two blocks again. And then you have our last one here. 
Each one of these is only gonna go up two walls worth though instead of three. And all the mushroom stems are gonna fill in the rest up to six blocks tall. Basically just frames the windows out. Until so you have something like this. And again, we're gonna do another black stone wall for a gutter here so that's seven blocks tall. And since this back side is literally an exact copy of the first side, this corner here is also gonna go up instead of six like the rest of the wall up to eight. And then again, nine and 10 like so. And again, like I've said, this back wall is identical to the front, except for the back upper window, which I'll do with you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and fill in this bottom portion here. Just make sure you copy how you've done it in the front. All right. So on the front side, we have three rows of stripped warped wood. But on the back side, we're going to instead do two rows and then start our exact same window, basically. So again, the middle being here. And then again, bring it out another three on each side after the middle. And instead of it going up three tall, the walls are gonna be four tall until you have something like that. And then again, you can bring the warped wood up and around it with every other, like going in one side, one block and up one block basically, just so that we have the same A-frame as we do in the front until you have it all put in like that. Now for the side bit here, again, we're gonna have another gutter that's seven blocks tall. And then we're gonna have a little wall here. Go ahead and fill this in one, two, three, four more blocks for a total of five blocks long mushroom stems. Then we're gonna go ahead and put in another window. It's gonna be two blocks wide by two blocks, well, technically four blocks tall. So again, we're gonna do full block, full block, stairs in the middle, up by two, full block on top, not glass, full block, Upside down stairs, glass filling it in, mushroom stem on the edge, mushroom stem covering it, until you have something like that. Actually not mushroom stem on the edge, it's going to be dripstone so that it matches up with this wall. I'll tell you something like that. Now getting up into the roof, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and put one block above this wall here. Sorry, two blocks, I should say. Two blocks out from this wall here and bring it over to cover the entire entryway. It's kind of like a little porch covering like that. Then when you get up to the dripstone, you don't need to put any more mushroom stem on top of the dripstone unless you want. But you're going to take this row here and bring it all the way around outlining essentially the dripstone wall. So you have something like that. Then we're going to start our roof outline here. I'm going to come over by three blocks from this corner. And on the fourth block, you're gonna put a half slab on the top slab, the top side slab, I should say, the mushroom stem, like this of the blackstone slabs, and then outline it again. And again, stopping with three blocks left on the corner until it looks like this. Now to connect this blackstone up with the gutter, which is kind of the whole point I'm going for here, you're gonna put a full, a full, you're gonna put a wall on the edges here, here, and here then you're going to put a blackstone slab underneath it and bring it all the way out you're right that is incorrect because this is supposed to be over with two blocks to spare and then the wall not three then put a blackstone slab under and then bring it over until it sticks out one block from this main wall like that because our roof is going to basically be on top of it same thing on the other side, although like I said, three blocks, two blocks left and it starts on the third. Full wall underneath slab, connect it in one block forward from the actual wall there. And it should look something weird like this. And we're also gonna do it on this side here as well, but there's no walls to connect it to really. It's just gonna go on the top half slab of this wall that's already there for the gutter and just connect it up all the way to the other side. Again, make sure it sticks forward by one block on both sides of the walls. Then to start the first portion of our roof, right on top of this wall, go ahead and put a mud brick slab and bring it all the way over the entirety here to connect up with the other one. And this whole area here, the outline of blackstone and the interior is gonna be filled with mud, or the mud slabs, I should say. And you should have something like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and start doing our actual frame of the roof. On top of these, we're gonna go ahead and put the mud brick stairs, except for this corner here. This corner here is gonna have smooth quartz stairs as an outline decoration thing. And normally I like to do it where like the outline or the main roof is like one block taller or lower than the outline, but not this time. This time it's all gonna be in line, so it's much easier to think about when you're actually building it. Now starting with the quartz, like we always do the outline first, Go ahead and do the same old stair, upside down stair, stair, upside down stair until you reach the middle up at the top. 
Then at the top here, we're gonna do two upside down stairs like so with the two correct side of stairs just meeting in the middle like that and of course on the other side since we have this black stone in already we can do the exact same starting with fourth stair right on top of the black stone and alternate it till you reach the top until you realize you've built it one block too high so this black stone wall actually has to come down by one so that we can line it up properly my bad everyone at home Alternatively, you could have just started working your way down from the peak you had already made, and then you would have realized your mistake sooner than I did. However, that would be a lot harder to do if you're doing this in survival. Regardless, this wouldn't be an INDIS tutorial video if I didn't mess up somewhere, right? And then you should have something like that. So now what you're gonna wanna do is do the outline on the other side as well. It should be lined up now that we have it corrected with the black stone walls. And after you have the outline in, you can go ahead and fill it all in with mud brick stairs, just connecting it in line perfectly like that. I will say there are some dormitories I did, which we will do after I put the roof in. So let me get the whole roof installed first. So now that the roof is in, there's a couple of housekeeping tips to do. Underneath this black stone slab here, you'll see the mud. If you don't wanna see it, I went ahead and used just upside down black stone stairs, just to kind of cover it up and make it look a little more seamless. Same thing on the back over here, right here, you can do the same thing. And I also did notice I missed this row right here of mushroom stems. And also on this side here, you can do your upside down. And I guess I also missed a whole row of mushroom stems here too. You could just fill it in and make it pretty. Or you could bring it out one block like we did on the other, on the entryway, but that's up to you. Now for the dormitories, there's actually two different ones that I did, and I'll show you both designs. I made three of them myself, so the materialist I gave you accounts for three of them, two being one type and one of another. The one of another, they're all gonna be three blocks wide, so you're gonna take out a three by three area worth of stairs. The one that is simplest is basically full blocks of these polished deep slate slabs up like this. Kind of framing it out like that getting white oh i have the white glass right here and filling that in oh it's actually a little bit taller and then up here we have it framed out with some slabs on top so this one is kind of like built-in skylight type of feel that i was going for very simple basically then the other one i have actually sticks out a bit more but again it's a three by three area so get rid of a three by three I'm gonna go ahead and put in a full block and a full block and then a stair in the middle. And we're taking the, a sl sorry, a pane on top of the stair, then a wall, which I thought I grabbed, but I guess not. A wall on either side of the pane. Again, full block, full block. Oh my gosh. Upside down stair. And then what you're gonna do is take the deep slate, polished deep slate all the way back to cover up any portions you would see. I highly recommend using half slabs so you don't have to use that much materials. And then the top is going to just be slabs of mud brick. And so you have something like that. And I basically did that style there twice and then one of these. And that would get you perfectly in line with the materialist, but it's up to you if you want to do that. But with that being said, that is the last thing I had to show you guys with this build. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe become a member, join the Discord, whatever, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, oh, bye guys. Oh, I just picked that all up. I'll be it.